What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Football Manager 2023 Journeyman Series and a day we're all excited for. Remember the preview? We had just like the best intake coming and it's backed it up for like, oh yeah, you would pro these high potentials when you're not at the highest level uh, will go to youth candidates, but this is probably the best youth intake you're going to have. Like, Again, we want to see all all those stars, but this is oh, this is the best youth intake I've got. You got to compare to the level you're at, uh, maybe. But regardless, we're gonna go in order. Well, kind of. Look how many elite talents there. Oh my, oh my God, that's absolutely incredible. Again, under 18s. I like to go to there and you sort. Yeah, get an order like that, but. Obviously, those are uh, current under 18s. But honestly, the see the difference is here. The guys that are that same high potential, elite talents. No, okay, we need to count. How many elite talents? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was on Mark Irwin. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then the other ones are top talent. 15 elite talents youth intake. Like, have you seen better than that? Again, uh, we do, we go round to that same thing. We compare to the best divisions, countries, however you want to describe it. But regardless, this is a whole generation. You know we're planning to leave at the end of the season and these guys, 15, 16 years old so yeah it's 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 a different conversation because it's also a fact of we're probably not going to be able to take the club in a short term yeah we want to yeah in, go manager wise uh be going up the divisions going up with our reputation as well so there's all that conversation so guys before what we're going to do this is going to be a singular youth intake episode it's it's got the mixed feeling uh because yeah we're intending to leave but i think it's 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 going to be the same thing. It's going to be the same thing we've experienced this season and the wanting, uh, yeah, the interest of players most definitely, uh, yeah, compares to that and what we will explain. But if you've been watching the save, you know players have been leaving and we've had more. So we are sitting top of the league, just go through our performances. They've been very strong since the last episode. Look, since February with Distillery... Uh, like unbeaten. Well, we've been unbeaten a little bit further, but that's where we yeah, did the last episode, ran it up January. But yeah, we've just been continuing pretty steadily and really happy with that because yeah, it's been hard. Uh, honestly, I've had like this youth intake has taken away from any frustration I had. Like this McVicker, why I went for you're like, wait, the loan end of season why is he joining then after the season's finished um yeah same questions to be asked but anyway i i was frustrated at that hasn't really impacted results so then i got less frustrated richard gooley funnily enough he fits there but actually he was in the under 18s that's why he wasn't playing a lot and he's an older player he was just like sitting there and uh not doing a whole lot, <laughs> to be honest, probably because of his age. He couldn't play, but I don't know why. He was in, yeah, the under-18s. Uh, I thought, upgrade him, and then, yeah, he's played a couple recent games, or three games, technically, he's played. Uh, but, like, I was like, nah, okay. The context is, Cameo Scott left. He was flying. A team came in, and I'm like, oh, another one. And it was just a bit of a, yeah, it, they were just, they were, get, they were getting oh, the annoyance, the annoyance out of me. I was just thinking of a, a PG rated way of saying that, but I was pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, I can't get it twisted, man. Oh, that, very, very frustrating. Arguably, yeah, one of the better, well, if I say one of the better players for the season, that's not arguably, arguably would be the best player Maybe a few players can, yeah, vie for that. But that was just, 
yeah, qu quite frustrating. Then most recently, James Clark. But again, as you can see, McCartan's been all right. We picked him up at the start of the season. Yeah, one of those new gens at the start of a save you can pick up. Uh, he's done reasonable without, like, I don't think he's been amazing, but he's played that role where we just needed to get someone extra in. And uh, obviously, yeah, he gets experience throughout that. But I did want to give you a little roundup before we focus on, yeah, the youth intake, which you might be here for. But let's go into the youth candidates. And yeah, what we wanted to talk about with this is we could sign these players up and keep our eyes on them when we move to our next club and do to this club what exactly other clubs did while I was the manager. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's keep our eyes on some of these players. We might put them on the short list permanently. Uh, they could be relevant at least for our next club. Maybe not three or four clubs down the track, but yeah, depending where the next club is. Oh my God, Tony Mullen. He looked, look at his eyes, man. Uh, goalkeeper, like we, we, at the same time, these are all sign up. This is so good for the future of the club, without a doubt. This is amazing. So he gets signed up. Oh no, I didn't think about this. What's what's the situation? Like, no, we're still. Uh, I'm not going to be teased. I'm not going to be tricked. Ooh. Oh, oh, we're going to have to at least offer him a deal. I just wonder. I really do. I wonder Tony Mullen will give him the contract. <laughs> I d actually, what we can do, I, I just want to make sure we get the best guys. I'll, I'll drop the future prospect. Yeah. Make sure we lock these guys in. Maybe try and drop to 15. Yeah realistically these all of these guys i don't think they all could be signed up but let's try owen moore i just wonder is that same thing going to happen like it was with you know just trying to sign first team players no for whatever re okay let's try and drop to 10 let's like by at each player we'll try and drop it by more okay we'll understand how much we can drop it by We'll see about that. There we go. I just wonder how many of these guys are we going to be able to offer. So without, because there's so many of them, uh, we're going to just be Collier. Eh, looks okay. We'll just drop it by, yeah. Oh, okay. Now, I was going to say, normally you can drop it by one. Not Clearly, clearly not every single time. Yeah. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm I'm just it's not going to be impact the wage budget but you guys know that's happened like we're not able to sign first team players this way so now I think we can just go through and sign everyone else yeah Dale Kane looks so, like some of them you compare and like oh they don't look so good but then you got to realize some of them might need that like their potential is more of the focus they're not first team ability just yet so maybe try and drop him to the 10 Okay, see, so you you just gotta you gotta try it with different players. Uh, we'll go back to Tony Mullen as well. Drop him to the ten. Just mix that where you can, and there you go. That's that's not too bad. Jason Lynch in right wing. A lot of ones, but he could be well. He is quick, but he could develop. Yeah, maybe two more plus two over the next few seasons. Uh, in the physicals, physicals. Yeah, players grow before they're 20 um, at the most. After that, you don't see, yeah, you don't see a whole lot. Again, maybe get him at that 10. No. Like, this is like a bit, of, I like this type of thing. It's like a challenge, like doing contracts. See, this guy, George Robson, one of the lowest current abilities, but his natural fitness is absolutely class. See, no matter what the, like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what their attributes are because they've got the potential. They all get contracts without a doubt, and the levels or the the amount of their deals will be varying uh, because of that, or how much we initially offer anyway is, yeah, I'm basing off what their abilities are, but where's Brammer? You get in a Dutch play through, and oof, 
yeah, he's he looks pretty balanced. This is almost close to like <laughs> could take us flying up the divisions of Northern Ireland as except as exciting as that sounds. Uh, but <sighs> there's an element of excitement in that. So yeah, we tie that up. Also, guys, I have started a Southampton save on my Patreon. Again, the video I made yesterday, I wanted to reiterate that point of saying for my current Patreon subscribers, but also to make you guys aware of it. And of course, to help, um, it does help support me, the extra, you know, the extra, well, support over on there, of course, to try and yeah, get uh, the FM videos back to a full-time thing for me. And I only was ever always on the edge of that, <laughs> uh, just getting by and uh, because other little payments I got, yeah, it was enough. But yeah, <laughs> you know, not so much anymore. But yeah, hopefully over time that will build like a catalog of series I'll have on my Patreon uh, as well over time. So yeah, I'm just uh, trying to do what I can, <laughs> what's in my control as I touched on. I could only do the same thing, uh, yeah, for so long. Like doing these series, like for the last few years, we've done some great series uh, I've been real, really happy with yeah the content wise of them. So uh, yeah, I got to do what's in my control. I now have my little community. Maybe don't appeal anymore to the broader uh, bro broader viewership <laughs> of FM for whatever reason that may be. But yeah, I've been doing this since 2012, 10 plus years, and yeah, uh, the paid for content is the way forward with a lot of things these days. So yeah, it's. It's something I'm just going to be providing a bit of bonus while we still do this journeyman save. So, yeah, did want to explain that again, but you can watch that video how I talk through it. But anyway, yeah, just want to let you know what I'm also working on. And now if we go back, we've got a few more top lads to look at. Damien Woods. Okay, yes. <laughs> like determination, teamwork, their mental attributes, important mental attributes. I mean, if you had two technicals of 17, you, just, you dominate, but you, yeah, it's different. There's less potential of that for this division or any division for a youth player, <laughs> like a region of 15 years old. But regardless, that's teamwork and determination. That's, that's really class to have uh, at a very, very young age. That's good to have at any age. Uh, yeah, probably going to get him on that future prospect there. Probably 15 and the then the couple threes. And then we drop down. They're so... Wow. I'm I'm still, like, a bit shocked by it. Uh, Mark Irwin as a centre-back. So you got to look at the best attributes yet. Uh, and then, yeah, you consider consider the potential. We just drop to the youngster. No, yeah, it's interesting. Some of them are willing, others not. Can you get it down to that 10? Okay, a new sub. He was requesting higher. Wonder why that is. Wonder why that is, but we tie him down eventually. Uh, Thomas O'Malley, a left back, but looks like he'll play right back as well, which is handy. Uh, yeah, he can play both sides. You might want to work on his preferred foot. You want to see how strong that is. Yeah, reasonable. Reasonable, so you wouldn't you wouldn't worry so much about playing him on that side if you needed to. Uh, bravery is perfect, perfect. He's weak in some areas, but uh, yeah, it's always good to have a a perfect attribute. <laughs> twenty out of twenty. Uh, yeah, he can't really improve. Interesting. His last few guys are higher unused sub rate. Maybe it's a uh, yeah unused sub fee. <laughs> Maybe they're a defender. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Anyway. Few more to check out. Zach McIntyre, another high determination. It's always good to have their physicals outside of his strength. Uh, looks very, very good. Uh, you can tell by his weight as well. Yeah, he's very. But I mean, when you're at that age, it's understandable. Uh, oh, I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen, guys. And now, like, it was going to happen. Because of the wage. And who do we miss out on? I knew. So, Zach McIntyre, I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Yet, But, Brian Kelly, a lot of ones will focus on that. The amount of ones he has. I'm, like, trying to justify it. Bad concentration, composure. It was so weak. I'm just going to say he's not going to be good enough because for that reason. Uh, I knew. 
But I thought it was going to be okay after a while, but I find it really interesting because our wage... <laughs> like, for first-team players, we weren't allowed to approach anyone. So Ronan West, you could say viable. Mental attributes, very weak, though. So you could maybe disagree with that. Very poor work rate. Uh, just to make sure... Yeah, they're all going to be like that. When you press the negative, then it drops to that minimum. And yeah, we know. Uh, maybe got to be happy how many they tie down. Uh, Ryan Hughes, uh, some very strong attributes, but then some very poor physicals and yeah, mentals fours and fives. So yeah, we can easily justify <laughs> them. Okay, if they were going to be the ones we leave out, it's going to be it. And then, of course, Nigel Kirk. That strong beard, 16 years old, as the only one, the only one who's not an elite talent, but top talent, he's not actually bad. Regardless, we can't offer him a deal anyway. There's no difference. Like, yeah, there's no reason why he would be different. Uh, no. Nah. So walk away from that. Uh, we'll just do that from the rest to deal with the must respond. Yeah, see, I knew that was going to happen, but I'm surprised how much we're allowed yeah, that was the only thing. Because as I said, if we're trying to sign a first team player, I'll give you a pure example. So you, but I've already approached guys. So yeah, like it's different. Again, we just go in. But th before the youth intake, this is what it would be like for senior players. So yeah, that's the only thing I had on my mind. But anyway, yeah, we were going to focus on this as a as just a youth intake episode. As much as, yeah, we're intending to leave at the end of the season, uh, we've put ourselves in a pretty good position to take out the title. And again, uh, yeah, guys, reiterate that point. Yeah, real life is a bit more uh, busier now. The YouTube stuff, you know, I already explained that when I mentioned uh, with the, yeah, Southampton save and do it on Patreon as well. Just trying to do some extra content to try and, yeah, <laughs> you know, trying to do what I can to, yeah, get back to like doing the content every single day and uh yeah uh i've been trying this for a long time you guys know that so uh yeah out here on australia in australia i don't think there's many fm youtubers but uh yeah after so many years <laughs> there was going to be a lot more from the uk to you know <laughs> probably be favored for uh most watchers most viewers <laughs> yeah most viewers which are from the uk as well so you can connect the dots. But anyway, for those of you guys still watching, I greatly appreciate it. But just understand, yeah, while I'm wanting to be recording videos like I used to every single day, I'm just like dealing with people in the real world. And I hadn't done that for the longest time. So uh, on a professional level anyway. So yeah, yeah. While you wanted me to record, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm going through. Uh, yeah, so appreciate all the support. Our intent now is, yeah, play the season out. Uh, we've also made it, well, we haven't made it to a final, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see if we do so. Maybe it'll be a final episode of the season or final game. You know, I mentioned, I remember mentioning it once to round it up in, in the way like of moving to our next team as well. We'll, yeah, round up the season. We'll do that hopefully pretty quickly, um, yeah, that last game of the season, whenever it will be, and then, yeah, we'll go through the process of hunting for a job, and then, yeah, we do the next episode, it'll be like a first episode at a new club, so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> see, when I'm explaining all this, it sounds like there's so much going through my head, that's because there is, uh, that is for sure, so I appreciate all the support, guys, for all the reasons I mentioned, and yeah, continue to show the support, leave the like, if, even if it's just likes and comments on the videos, uh, yeah, if that's all you can do, you know, that, that helps me just watching the videos as well, um, for as long as you can, the watch time and, and all that. Um, yeah, that's all we can say at this point. Hey, so I appreciate all you guys that watch the content and those that leave the extra support. Um, yeah, it does help me out uh, where I can. So yeah, always appreciate the feedback, uh, as well for what to do. Uh, yeah, we'll be doing a few extra things. You might see a, a YouTube Shorts incorporated with this youth intake. I mean, I thought it was, oh, this gave me a reason to. Uh, <laughs> getting a youth intake like that, for me, that's the best I have. Had not just an FM23, but yeah, any FM game for the longest time. But 
anyway, yeah, appreciate the support and yeah, appreciate the understanding if there's not episodes every single day or even days in a week. Like, it all depends, the craziness that goes on. Because uh, sometimes, you know, you're, you're done with the day and there's no time to sit down and go through recording videos and whatnot. But uh, that life is not currently. <laughs> all right. See, this is me. I miss just sitting down and talking. This life, yeah, this life is is what I always enjoyed and always appreciated doing YouTube and FM videos. So, yeah, uh, thanks to you guys uh, still around. I'll see you guys in the next one.